Hi guys, welcome to X Power. Uh, I'm Mark McCurdy, aka Big Angry Dad 82. Uh, today I'm going to be doing my full review of Dirt Five. Um, I've already did a review in progress there early in the week. Uh, it's on the channel. You can go and watch that as well. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get kind of straight to the point. Like Dirt Five is awesome. Um, as a kind of single player racing game, um, I'll, I'll, I'll get into the kind of online stuff uh, in a bit. Um, you know, it, 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 a, it is a pure kind of arcade racing game. Um, you know, the, the, the handling and everything, it's very arcadey. Um, this is made by Codemasters Cheshire, who uh, they used to be uh, Evolution Studios, uh, if you're familiar with them. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, they, they made the uh, WRC series, they made uh, Motorstorm, um, Drive Club, and most recently they made um, Onrush. Uh, that was the first game when they came to Codemasters. And if you're familiar with those games, this game, you know, feels quite similar in terms of the handling. Um, as I say, it's very arcadey, and you know, it plays and it feels awesome when you're playing it. Um, the graphics look fantastic. Uh, you know, the weather effects. I mean, it's got like dynamic uh, weather in it. So as you're racing, you know, the weather can change, and it can go from like day to night, uh, or, or different times of during the day. Um, all of that, absolutely fantastic. Um, for me, right, um, this is the Evolution Studio slash Codemaster Cheshire. This is the best game to date um, in, in terms of the gameplay and how it plays, how it looks, everything. Brilliant. Um, there's a, you know, a massive career mode, um, tons and tons of events. Um, you know, you've got like you go through and then you unlock more as you as you progress. Um, and there's like multiple chapters um, that you've got to go through, all of which is kind of narrated by um, Troy Baker and Nolan North. And um, they play like kind of DJs doing this like podcast kind of thing about about the races and stuff. Um, and some of it's a bit kind of cheesy. Um, you know, but it it, it 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 does well enough. It does a good enough job at kind of I don't know whatever filling the gaps between between the races, and it doesn't. It's not kind of overbearing where it's getting in the way of um you know um of, of the gameplay, right? Um, so you know you've got your career mode. Um, say I'll go on to online in a minute. Um, so. Arcade, you've, you've got, you know, free play and time trial. You can just select any cars or tracks you want. Um, talking of cars and tracks, there's like uh, over 60 cars. Um, and, you know, there's multiple different sort of disciplines, um, as you might expect from, you know, from the Dirt series. Um, no traditional rally in this. There's rally cars, but like the races are like circuits and um, we do laps or there is like point to point racing. But, um, you know, you, you are always kind of racing against other AI cars. And uh, so you're not just racing by yourself against the clock with the co-driver, you know, going uh, right five into turn uh, into left two and all of that stuff that that's. You won't get that here, right? Although it was quite a heavy focus on uh, Dirt 4. Um, but here, the, you know, the, there's no kind of traditional rally like that at all. Um, they seem to be kind of trying to draw a line between the kind of main Dirt series and, like, Dirt Rally. So, like, Dirt Rally 2 is the, the latest one. That's where you, where you want to go for your kind of pure traditional and much more realistic um, um rally experience right pure rally experience um and this game is more of a kind of arcadey um you know with a multitude of different kind of off-road cars and all these kind of off-road tracks as 
And there's um, 70, um, 70 plus tracks in the game, and that's spread across uh, 10 different countries. Um, so there's tons and tons of tracks, and it's all like original tracks. Um, you know, it's been created for the game, not just like, you know, licensed tracks and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, there's the Playgrounds mode. Now, this is the kind of user-created content. Um, so when you go in here, um, you know, you can create your own um, tracks. Um, you know, you've got multiple different uh, uh, different pieces you can slot together. It's, it's kind of like building up a Hot Wheels um, set, you know, or something like that. Or like scale electrics or something, you know. Um, and, and you just kind of build, um, you know, all your different pieces up. Ooh. Trying to, oh yeah, I've got to do that and then <laughs> so getting how to move it. Um, so you know, you, you place all your different kind of pieces down um, wherever you want, and then there's a multitude of different, different, um, different pieces you can slot in to make make your own tracks. Um, I'm not very good at these to be honest, but I'm just going to run through things just to show you kind of what's on offer. Um, you know, you got these uh, big mad tunnels and rings of fire and stuff like that. Bosses that you want to, you know, put down so you can jump over them. Um, oh yeah, menu. Um, <laughs> getting how to get out of there. Uh, so, so yeah, so that's your uh, creation of it. Uh, or you can just go and sort of play um, what other people have built. Um, so you can go to discover and it'll give you like featured ones um <clears throat> it seems to be taking a little while to load <laughs> oh right hang on there it goes it's maybe this is the first day that the um like the standard editions been available and um, so it's maybe just kind of loading up um, all of the tracks that, that people have been making now that the game's kind of available to the public um, but yeah you know you can go through here and select um, loads of different ones it kind of splits them up into different um, different types of events there and you can press X if you find one you like and press X to pin it to your favourites, um, and then you've got leaderboards for them and all that good stuff. Um, so it gives you a reason to keep coming back to them, um, to maybe like improve your time, maybe just uh, you're on the worldwide leaderboards or just against your friends or whatever. Um, you know that's there as well. Um, which <clears throat> you know once the kind of community gets a hold of all of it and they're just going to be creating loads of great stuff. Um, I've only really sampled. Um, ones made by the developers themselves, like official ones, and then, um, you know, some of the other reviewers that have had the game early, like me. Um, I mentioned editions there, so there's two editions. There's the Amplified Edition, which basically is your season pass. Um, you know, you, you get the season pass included, and that's seventy four ninety nine, and the um, standard edition is fifty four ninety nine. So on the season pass, they're gonna add. Um, I think they said at least twelve new cars. Um, oh god, I can't remember. But they're gonna add a load of new cars and events. Um, if you know, if you buy the season pass um, in the months following launch, like. Um, another thing I'll just touch on is um, there's yeah, these uh, player cards uh, for your kind of uh, identity, kind of in the career and online. You have these this card that you can put like stickers on, and you can choose a nickname and a lanyard and, and stuff like that. Um, so that's your kind of little kind of customization there, and people kind of see that online and stuff like that. And you've got to like unlock these. Um, by like leveling up and then spending your um you know your in-game money to uh, to buy all of these as well um, as well as you know you've got to buy 
um, the cars as well in the game um, as you progress through it. Um, so that's kind of all of the the positives. Um, so going into online, um, like I did my review in progress, say, um, you know, go and have a look at that as well because I, I went into um, some some other uh, stuff a bit more kind of in depth. Um, but in in terms of online, I'm sorry to say it's a bit kind of bare bones, guys. I mean, you go into online. Um, just wait for the server to road up. Um, and it's basically you can you go in mode select and then you select races or party games. Like you just select that and it gives you random ones. You can't like go in there and select um, what event you want to be matched into. Um, and like any time I've tried it, like it, it it seems a bit kind of barren at the moment. As I say, the game is just out today. Uh, like the standard edition of it. The Amplified Edition got a few days early access, um, so it's been out. Um, but any time I've tried this, actually it's found a match, so we'll see what comes up. And I'll maybe just go in. Oh, it's actually found me a full lobby now, um, which is pretty good. Um, but <laughs> prior to, you know, doing this review, like any times I went into it, it... Um, it was a bit bad. It was only like matching me with one person <laughs> earlier uh, tonight. Um, but as I said, like you just get matched into a random race. Um, there isn't any kind of options to select different events types. That's maybe something that they, you know, they'll probably add after launch, like in free updates and stuff like that. Um, some more kind of online options. Um, but like, well, I'll, I'll see what happens here when this loads up. Um, as I say, this is the first time I've been in with a kind of full lobby. Um, so we'll see how this holds up now. Um, but it's <laughs> like just raising one other person. Um, but like, it worked. You know what I mean? We had a, we had our races and that, and you know, um, everything worked as it should. Someone's AFK. Yes, you see this, uh, this snow stand here, it, it's very hard to sort of see where you're going. Try and kind of cycle through the camera as quickly if I can. Yeah, so you've got you know, a couple of third person cameras, you've got like a bumper cam, bonnet cam, uh, you know, and a dash cam if you're using a wheel, you know, you don't want the in-game wheel, you can do that, or you can pop it, this is what I generally play it at, all the time I do, because I, like, this is how I play it, I play with a controller as well, um, actually playing the game feels great, you know, the camera feels really good. Um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna jump out of this because I want to show a bit more of the the kind of career mode and the different options in there. But say that's the kind of online there. Um, the party games I haven't been able to get into a match um, but they actually do sound really fun. Um, it's kind of similar if you played like the Forza Horizon games um, it's kind of similar to the kind of party games you get in that. There's like tag and um, 
vampire where like someone's a vampire and they've got to go and hit other people and make them a vampire um and 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 different kind of modes like that um i'll probably like keep an eye on the channel um and and you know keep an eye might be on um twitch when i'm streaming the game uh twitch.tv slash xpower podcast um because um you you know i'll probably be playing them once the servers have filled up more um and like next week um i'm getting an xbox series s fingers crossed on tuesday <laughs> it turns up and um and I'll be like doing a video looking at you know the kind of improvements uh, that that brings. Um, the game's available on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Um, if you buy any of those versions now, you get a free upgrade to like the next gen consoles. If you buy the console versions, um, you get an upgrade to the next gen consoles on the Xbox Series X or S or the um, PS5, you know, if you bought the PS4 version. Um, you know, you, you just get a free next gen upgrade. Um, in terms of like, like options, um, you know, and, and resolution and frame rate and stuff, um, you have got, um, you know, so you've got prioritized frame rate or um, in each quality. Um, so this is Xbox One X I'm playing it on. I don't know if those options exist on like the regular Xbox One. Or, I imagine you have these options on PS4 Pro, not the original PS4 maybe. Um, <clears throat> but, um, you, but yeah, you're getting 60 FPS at a kind of um, dynamic 4K, I believe, on the you know in the <clears throat> on the frame rate mode, and then. Um, you know, an image quality you're getting kind of 4K 30 FPS. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> On the new gen uh, consoles, um, I think like it's 4K 60, um, and it's like a high image quality mode. And then you've got a um, no. Well, that was that. Sorry, that's on the Series X and PS5. Um, and I think it's 1440p 120. Yeah, on the um, on the Series X PS5. And then you've got um, I think it's 1440p 60 with high graphics on the um, the um, Series S, the Xbox Series S, and then uh, 1080p 120fps. Uh, you know, if you want the prioritized frame rate mode. Um, so th there's different options there um, for which you prefer. Um, I always go for you know higher frame rates and stuff like that um, in most games. Um, so we'll just jump into a couple of career mode races just to kind of finish off the review. Um, as I say, it's an excellent game. Um, the online, I, I don't know. I mean. I haven't really played enough of it because, say, the, the, um, there isn't enough people playing it yet um, to really say. But I do believe that you know, um, I've got all I'll go, I'll go this. The, the Subaru, the Impreza is fantastic. In this game, it's one of my, one of my favourite cars to um, to play with in this game so far. Um, but yeah, so I say the online options it could do with. Um, been able to, you know, select what mode you want, um, you know, to, to be matched into. I'm, I'm hoping to be able to play with some friends as well, but none of my friends have got it yet. Well, only one has. He, he was reviewing it as well. Um, but I haven't been able to get online with him yet. Um, but, you know, once I've got a few friends and that on, um, I'll be playing more online with them. And I don't know if you're on with friends, whether you can... Sort of select, you know, what you want to do, um, and I do really want to try party mode to get on with people. Um, so I'll probably look at that during my like streams, and like I do the X Power podcast, um, so I'll probably be talking about uh, that on that. So do um, keep an eye out for that. Um, as I say, Dirt Five, it's an excellent game. Um, you know. Um, I wish I could just kind of speak more towards the multiplayer and stuff. 
Um, as I say, the, the kind of options there are a bit barren, a bit bare, bare bones. Um, but in terms of single player, in terms of you know uh, uh, cars and tracks available and all that, it is really well packed. It's a really fantastic package. Um, I just wish to say there was more online options there for um, for what you actually want to do. And I, I cannot, I cannot talk in every race. Can't concentrate. Um, falling way behind here. Um, but yeah, so I'd say that's the Dirt 5 review. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, give me a like. And think about subscribing if you're enjoying the content. And I will catch you again very soon. Alright, thanks guys. Bye for now. Bye.